Uh, hello everyone. Um, I'm an introducing uh, Corpus that uh, our team uh, adopted, and um, I'm also planning to introduce some efforts to uh, use this Corpus to do some knowledge inference. The uh, application purpose is to do the knowledge inference in drug repurposing. Uh, you know, um, actually, I have um, prepared a very long slide, so uh, I will sk skip many of them. <laughs> but you know, uh, we will have a lot of time to discuss them uh, during Hackson. So AJC um, is an abbreviation for the active gene annotation, and now I changed it into another name. I changed the C into the mutation centric. Since uh, during the whole procedure, I found that. Um, it's very, very important to focus on the mutation information uh, if I want to really use this corpus to, you know, to uh, apply for the drug repurposing. So drug repurposing actually is a very, very interesting and welcoming issues. At least in our universities, we have a very um, big team working on the drug. And, uh, you know, uh, we also have some uh, collaboration with the, those uh, drug companies, they invest in and us. And so drug repurposing means to, uh, drug repurposing or reprofiling means to find the new directions of drugs. And these are the slides to say this, um, this is important, I will skip it, skip it. <laughs> but here is something I have to address because this is the whole uh, basic uh, hypothesis that the application should be successful means the purpose of this corpus is try to trace the function change of a mutated gene um, say if what's the point of it here so um, if, uh, if you find that a mutated gene play sort of function with loss of function, we call it function change. And it, in, other hand, in, in the other hand, you found that the gene has a targeted drug, and the drug plays something like a stimulator, we call it agonist. So this pair will form a very interesting knowledge pair. So a stimulator as, as a, g, a drug, and a LOF function change in the gene. And you know, they will possibly from a kind of a um, you know drug and and gene and also linked to the disease. So by doing that, we can we can do the so-called drug repurposing. So the um, uh, there's another kind. It's called a GOF and uh, inhibitor. And so the uh, corpus of AJC is to try to you know to trace this knowledge and uh, you know. These are several slides that I have already shown in Block 4. So, like for example, this text is from Omin. In Omin, let me highlight something, something in red. This um, text marked in red um, is um, just some important information related to what I mentioned just now. Like there is um, a variation, mutation, there is a loss of something, means a function change. Uh, this is also function change, and uh, the art of this text is that um, originally this text has already been labeled with a disease and a mutation. This is uh, this is the, you know this is some trick here, so uh, we don't have to you know to um, to confirm whether this text is talking about some disease or something is already mentioned. So by designing some sort of uh, triggers in the AJC, something like this. There are eight triggers, eight trigger words, and uh, two kinds of uh, thematic roles. So we will annotate by using the public annotation, the platform offered by Blah DBCOS, and we will um, have the AJS corpus like this. And last year when I was here, we just uh, get started, and then now uh, we have our uh, uh, nearest version, and currently it's, uh, we have uh, four annotators. Um, and we allocated 148 text. And uh, to, uh, in order to attend the um, open shared task in uh, with Blah uh, 5 in Hong Kong in this November, 
we are planning to increase this number to roughly 600. And uh, according to some experiments, uh, I have five minutes. According to some um, to some test, uh, we uh, we do it doing some IAA, and this is some results, not that bad. But you know the thing is to how to use this um, to to do the function change recognition, and uh, so this table show the um, training data. And after labeled this training data by using our corpus, we have uh, you know, we have uh, the results listed in this table. We tried many many baseline measures. One, uh, some are from just you know currently very popular um, LSTM, what embedding like like this, and we also tried some traditional classifier methods like in the below and uh, you know the, the the task is to do the LOF or GOLF classification upon a text um, the performance performance is not that bad so it means that uh, the corpus may be possibly used to recognize the function change of a mutated, mutated gene so um, uh, we we had several mathematical efforts to you know to do the knowledge inference afterwards. Um, in, in, to some extent, actually, this part is beyond the um, you know beyond the, the field of uh, open shared task because okay because this is what I um, like to do the knowledge inference. Um, three points. The first point is that um, we can use something like the tensors to contain those links. We call it higher order links. And by doing the um, tensor decomposition, we can find the novel links in the decomposed the new tensors and find the new links. This first point. We tried something and get this paper published recently. And uh, second, um, we are doing a enhancement of our notch inference by using a jointly decomposition of tensor and the uh, matrix. The tensor is the typical uh, rascal tensor, and the matrix is uh, some matrix uh, with some information of uh, different. Omics, multi omics data, including pathway, drug, uh, phenotype, or something. And uh, this is something very interesting. Um, uh, you know, it's some mathematic things. Because I, we have to uh, decompose the tensors and the matrix, and uh, you know. To, to you know to deduct to deduce some formulas to you know to until we can get the composed uh, tensors, and the second uh, uh, the third one is um is by using a variational inference to do a topic modeling, and uh, this is also a typical NLP uh, problem, and I'm introducing a gamma dg, which is a something like a switch variable to focus on the mutation information along with the LOFGOF topic modeling. Uh, several formulas here, I will, I will skip, it, skip it. I'm still working on it. That's me. This is me. Uh, so, conclusion, the AJC, the corpus I uh, we built, um, I think it's uh, usable. And uh, this is some potential addition to propel discovery of a new drug. And uh, uh, thank many um, students and collaborators. We uh, work together. I'm so happy to have you. And uh, thank you.